Welcome to Introduction to Polymer Chemistry course. Our first lecture will be about the classification of polymers. Polymers are very interesting materials. Although polymers are one of the building blocks of life on Earth, only recently we understood their nature. The origin of the word polymer comes from the Greek word polymeros, which means many parts. Polymers are formed by linking small monomers together to form long chain polymers. The word monomers come from the Greek word monomeros, or one single part. The first synthetic polymer was introduced by Leo Bakelin in 1907. He was able to synthesize a thermosetting phenol formaldehyde resin called bakelite. Although the significant advances in polymers plastic synthesis, the molecular nature of polymers wasn't understood. It was believed that polymers are formed according to association theory due to association or aggregation of monomers into polymers. It wasn't until Hermann Stavinger proposed in 1922 that polymers consist of long chains of atoms held together by covalent bonds. And even then, his work wasn't accepted until the year 1953 when he was awarded Nobel Prize. So, what is the definition of a polymer? A polymer is a molecular compound distinguished by high molar mass, ranging between thousands to millions of grams, and made of many repeating units. For example, polyethylene is a polymer made from the repeating units of ethylene monomers. Polymers are also called macromolecules due to their large size and high molecular weight. All polymers are considered to be macromolecules, but not all macromolecules considered to be polymers. So what is the difference? All polymers are considered to be macromolecules due to their large size and high molecular weight. All polymers are made of small monomers joined together. For example, starch is a polysaccharide made of linking glucose monomers together, where macromolecules don't have to be polymers. For example, chlorophyll is a macromolecule with a high molecular weight, and yet it is not considered to be a polymer. From the structure, you can see that chlorophyll doesn't contain monomers. Instead, it's a chunk of one big compound. In other words, it is not made from joining monomers together. There are four approaches used in classifying polymers. They can be classified based on their origin, structure, mode of polymerization, or based on the molecular forces that hold molecules together. Let's start the classification of polymers 